Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We've shown some preview pictures of Tyler's outhouse that we were building. So today we finished it up. Got the door on, the roof on. You see the roof. Got a solar light on the outside of it. This is a five foot by Seven foot. Five by eight all the way out. Okay, five by eight all the way out. And then the roof is actually 12 feet. Mm -hmm. So that's how we get the overhang. So built the door today. Got the moon cut in it. Got the antler on it for a handle. <laughs> window here you can see. Gonna put some shelves up here on the back of it. Before long, we'll get a mill a couple more boards for that. Got a coat hanger here, small shelf here above the door, lots of headroom, lots of headroom. This one here's the one that's got about a seven foot deep hole, so that ought to last for a while. This thing is sitting on the railroad uh, switching ties, I believe they're called. They're nine by 18 inches, I believe. Uh, that's what the square there is made out of and that's what the steps are so then the logs are all uh, five inch d logs <clears throat> these are all ones everything on this thing we milled um, the only thing we actually purchased for this was the screws hinges and the uh, metal for the roof all the wood stuff we actually made so <clears throat> come out really nice I mean, it ought to last for decades i would imagine so, let me get around here. We still don't have all the lumber and stuff cleaned up around here yet, but but you can kind of see the uh, the back of it, what it looks like. The window on the side. <clears throat> Got a nice overhang. Uh, anytime you're using logs, you need a nice overhang to uh, keep the water from running down the logs and uh, rotting them out. This is called a button pass. That's the reason it's called a button pass. This is the pass. This is where it butts up. <clears throat> uh, there are several methods of building log cabins. Some of them just be come out and they're all notched out and all that. But the button pass is an easy method to use. And uh, so that's why we did it on this one. So we still got to put some trim around the window. We haven't done that yet. We forgot that. <laughs> so <clears throat> you can see the... Uh, Logs here we peeled as supports for the for the front. Um, the logs are all held together with um, eight inch uh, log screws. So there's a few, I don't know, two to three in each um, each log, depending on how long <clears throat> it was. 150 in the whole building. 150 eight inch screws in the whole building holding the logs together. So, but it came out really really nice. That's uh, 250. 250. 250, so, yeah. It uh, <clears throat> really made a beautiful building. So, so the uh, the cabin we're building at Perry's house, or for Perry, will be made like this, except it'll be made out of six inch D logs. But uh, it'll be really similar to this. So, bigger, we hope. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> a little bigger. <laughs> so, anyway, just wanted to give you an update on where we were at on the. Uh, log cabin outhouse at the off-grid homestead here in Alaska. So somebody asked me the other day why uh, outhouses were so popular in Alaska. And the uh, only reason I could give you is that um, a lot of places like where we live, uh, it's totally off-grid. I mean, there's no electricity available, no no utilities of any kind. Uh, we do have our, have our smartphones, but we don't have any internet access or anything like that other than um, what we get off our phone. So like I say, there's no no utilities even available in this whole area here. So um, Alaska is not quite like the lower 48. It's not nearly as populated and there is not near as many roads. There's actually more roads in um, uh, Greene County, Missouri than there is in the entire state of Alaska. and. Alaska is, I believe it's two and a half times the size of Texas. So that gives you some idea of uh, what the road infrastructure is in Alaska and why things are so primitive in some areas because you just can't get to it by road. So 
and the uh, the ground up here is such that during breakup you probably got about six weeks of mud that makes a lot of places inaccessible as well and of course a lot of places are only accessible by water too so our fortunately our place is actually on a um, a dirt road so we can't actually access ours our road did get really bad this year and uh, hopefully that'll improve for next year our driveway just turned horrible so um, we definitely have a lot of work to do on that as well so anyway um, thanks for watching these two guys are just done for the day I think we're wore out <laughs> all right thanks for watching <coughs>